Iceberg charts. They're as outdated as Among Us memes and Bernie Sanders asking for financial support. They're the kind of long videos I play at 2am when I can't sleep. But hey, some of them can be interesting. So today we're going to be going over the Clash Royale iceberg. Or more so, a few of them that I've combined into one list. Now, fair warning, some of this stuff is uh, pretty obvious if you've been playing for years. Just felt the need to say that before I get comments like these. I didn't write these icebergs, so uh... Yeah. And also, if you're expecting a creepy iceberg that takes a dark, dark turn at the end, uh, this ain't it. <laughs> so anyways, with all that being said, let's get right into it. Card Art Changes there's been a lot of card art changes over the years, but some of the most notable ones were the Executioner, Bomber, and Fireball. There's a lot more, but that's just to name a few. Gem Rush. Gem Rush was a special event, the same as Gold Rush and Crown Rush, but instead of gold and crowns, well, you guessed it, you got gems. This special event only appeared in the game three times, before mysteriously never showing up again. Old King Sounds. This is referring to the old king sounds the default emote had. Since there were no other emotes, each of these four emotes had more than one sound for them, but these were removed in the introduction of the emotes, and the default emotes were left with one sound each. <laughs> Mr. Squidward, I should kick you. No legendary buildings. Ice Wizard Tower. Clash Royale has no legendary buildings, but there was supposed to be one, which was the Ice Wizard Tower. I'm assuming that's why they put these two together. In real life videos. I believe this is talking about the vast amount of videos fans have done of the game, but in real life. If you search Clash Royale in real life, you'd be surprised to find a lot of them. I think most people have seen this one right here, but I was surprised to even find a lot more that I've never seen before. Quest. This is pretty well known if you played before mid-2020. Basically, quests, which were basically challenges you did for rewards, were removed, and instead, the new Clan Wars 2.0 was given better rewards. Free Chest The Free Chest was a wooden chest you get twice daily, and it was in the place of where quests were. Though, it wasn't actually removed, just moved over to the Quest tab under Daily Rewards. SM Chest The Super Magical Chest, on the other hand, was the best chest in the game, for a long time along with the legendary chest. In December of 2018 though, the super magical chest was converted to the new mega lightning chest. It's pretty much the same chest but with strikes that will re-roll your cards. Nerf Royal Giants Nerfing the Royal Giant became a huge meme over time because the Royal Giant became so OP and after a few balance changes it was still pretty OP. Supercell caught on to this and made it a joke, even adding it to the 2v2 chat menu. Anime I believe this is talking about when Clash Royale made a quick video entirely in anime style called Cards Coming to Life. Private Tournaments I believe this is talking about the OG tournament system when you could make tournaments with your friends and earn rewards. This was like this for years, but unfortunately tournaments were changed and now private tournaments are only for fun. There's no rewards involved in it. Legendary Trophies This was pretty much the end game before leagues. Pretty much after a certain amount of trophies, the players would accumulate legendary trophies until the season was reset and their total amount of legendary trophies would be displayed in their profile. Kind of like just a huge flex. In March of 2017 though, these trophies were replaced by the league system and players were given compensation as well as an exclusive emote. Clan Chest The Clan Chest was a clan event in which players played matches and ranked up some crowns. Those crowns would go into a pool of them, and at the end of the event, players could open up that chest based on how many crowns they got. It's pretty much the same as clan games and Clash of Clans, except you got one chest. Still, it was a pretty beefy chest. Your opponent has left. Clash Royale used to display when an opponent left in a match, but 
This was later removed because people would abuse the fact that a player has left a match and start spamming everything they had. In removing this, it gave the opponent a chance to open the app again and continue the battle as normal. The King's Pony I'm not 100% sure what this is talking about, but it could be about the pony the king is riding on in a couple of commercials. He isn't usually seen in this pony though, so maybe that's why it's an entry here. Expos are locked into ground only configuration. When the game came out, Expos targeted air troops as well, but this was later set to ground only. It's believed the car was simply set to a ground only configuration and it can still shoot air if turned back on or done in other means that you really shouldn't do. <laughs> Ice Golem Rocket. This is talking about a glitch in 2016 that actually made anything you wanted immune to a rocket by simply having an Ice Golem near it. The Ice Golem would unintentionally provide a shield. Of course though, this was patched and it no longer works. LJ and Log Lore. This is a pretty well known fact. Pretty much, it is said that the Lumberjack accidentally spilt a bottle of rage onto a log while chopping down trees, and that log became enraged, creating the log we know today. The entire story can actually be seen in a video by Clash of Clans called No More Logmas. Battles Costing Coins In the game's soft launch days, battles used to cost gold. If you're an OG player or love watching facts videos, you probably already knew this and heard it a hundred times, but yeah, it's it was pretty cool. Or bad, depending on how you see it. Old Tourney Chest The old tournament system was different as we discussed already, but taking it back to 2016, the possible rewards for these tournaments were insane. The first place chest included 15,000 cards and it cost an insane amount to even start. The tournament. I think it was like in the thousands. This was later removed and I think it's because no one was actually going to drop that amount of money on tournaments besides content creators trying to show it off. It was pretty cool while it lasted though. Opeget Studios. This entry is talking about a group that went by the name Opeget Studios. They were infamously known for leaking pretty much everything Clash Royale related from cards, new arenas, New features. I believe they're still around, but the hype has definitely died down due to Clash Royale taking big steps to stop these leaks. Still though, I think everyone has seen the name of Peckett Studio on something that they weren't supposed to see. <laughs> achievements. Like many features that were removed in Clash Royale, achievements is another one. The feature is pretty self-explanatory. You had a list of things you needed to do in the game and you'd get rewards for them upon completion. The same way as we have achievements in Heyday and Clash of Clans. But this feature was then replaced by the quest feature and achievements were then a thing of the past. OG Replay Layout The UI in the game has changed a lot, but one of the oldest changes was the original replays layout. In certain devices, you could view replays in landscape mode, which was incredibly weird but cool. This feature was later removed and replays has since been given a facelift and additional features. Royal Recruits are Robots Theory This is a theory that the Royal Recruits are actually robots and their helmets are controlling them much like the helmets we see in that one Spongebob movie. You know what I'm talking about, right? I think this one entry in the iceberg stems back to a video uploaded called Darkest Conspiracy Theories About Clash Royale which was uploaded by me in 2018. I'm glad people still remember that video. Season 8 This season is known to have been the worst season out of all of them because players thought it was lazy and didn't add anything new to the game. And to be fair, I think I said the same thing in a video once. <laughs> Anyways, the only new thing in that season was the tower skin which upset a lot of people. Elite Barbarian Hut This is referring to many fan ideas for a beefed up barbarian huts, but instead of barbarians, it spawns elite barbarians. It was mostly a joke, I think it started due to the elite barbarians being extremely OP at the time, and also Supercell saying at one point that they played around with making a hut out of pretty much every card. Mega P.E.K.K.A. The Mega P.E.K.K.A. is pretty much a card we were supposed to get. I actually covered this one in one of my videos years ago, and pretty much there were three versions of this card, but none of them actually made it out of testing.
Scrapped Cards There's a few scrapped cards in the video, but this entry is solely referring to the amount of cards that have been scrapped. Currently, there are around 20 that we know of, but that number is most likely in the hundreds by now. Supercell Shop the Supercell shop was an online store that had Supercell merchandise. On May 31st, 2019 though, this shop was permanently closed because they felt distributing them in a store wasn't the best way to reach their fans. Today, Supercell merchandise is usually given away instead by content creators. Fight Against AIDS all Supercell games at this point have participated in Apple's Red events, which are events to help fight against AIDS. Every game does this a different way, but in Clash Royale we once got a limited time tower skin. I believe Clash Royale only did this once, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was just that one time. Clash Knights Clash Knights was a service from Supercell that helped players organize, promote, and run their own meetups. The platform went on a open beta on November 2017, even having its own tab in the game. Unfortunately, this feature didn't garnish much attention, so over time, it was mentioned less and less often, until eventually being closed in May of 2019. Hologram Tower This was another card that was scrapped. It was basically a clone tower that troops would be distracted by an attack. Training Camp is the Builder's Workshop this is a theory that the training camp and the builder's workshop are the same arenas, just that the workshop is the aftermath of new construction. There's tons of supporting evidence to this, like the two arenas icons having tons of similarities, like the tree that was once there being cut down in the new image, the log, the same arrow in different locations, and the fact that training camp had tons of trees but builder's workshop is made mostly of wood. That could be the source of where they got the wood from. I think I explained this theory a lot more better from that video, so I'll leave the link down below. Rick Rolled In April 1st of 2018, uh, I can already see where this is going, Supercell posted a new card image with a link for gameplay. Now, of course, you should never trust anything on April Fools, but people clicked the link anyways, and it led them straight into a Rickroll. Three weeks later, we also got Rickrolled in the Clan Wars announcement video. Lava Golem This was another leaked card that was leaked at the same time as the Rascals. Everyone believed we would get these two cards, but we only got the Rascals and the Lava Golem was never added. Jungle Berries This is referring to a new troop that was seen in an image. The troop looked nothing like what we had in the game at the time, and YouTubers started to joke around about this new card being the Jungle Berries. This joke went on for quite a bit until the bandit was finally revealed, and well, that was the Jungle Berries. Pain Rat The only thing I could find about this was a content creator named Pain underscore Rat, and he seems to have not posted anything for over two years. His last post was that his recording card had broken, and he wouldn't be able to record anything for a while. Secret Shop Button this one is referring to a secret shop button that appears if you set the game's language to Korean. The button was nothing more but information about the game. Team Titles This was a bug in 2v2 that made the two players' names long text of code. At first, no one really knew what it stood for, and many people believed there was something special about these names, but it was simply that the players had gold names from the past, and the game just incorrectly displayed them with their code name. Goblins are bowlers. This is a theory that the bowlers were previously goblins, but they took some kind of spell, presumably a spell with Dark Elixir, and turned into a bowler. This theory started when players noticed similarities, and someone even asked the game support team, and the support team seemed to dodge the question, like, just never mention anything about the question. As if they just didn't want to mention anything about it. So, uh, yeah. The Princess and Ram Rider are dating. This is a theory that the Princess and Ram Rider are dating. It began when people saw them in the short film The Lost and Crowned in a bed together, snuggled up, reading a book. However, I think people thought this one out way too much and let their fantasies do the talking. Zero Four 
This is referring to a loading screen that displayed a balloon holding the match's score count with 0 to 4. Many people believe this was some kind of new game mode because the normal battles usually ended at 0 to 2. However, it was later discovered that the 0 to 4 was simply a reference to Clash Royale turning 4 years old. Japanese Red Rarity Commercial In March of 2017, the Clash Royale Japanese channel uploaded a video for its one year anniversary of the game's global launch. Many people noticed that there was a red card coming out of the chest and thought that this could be a hint toward a new rarity. Unfortunately, this was not a new rarity. It was simply a color change so that it would look like the red card in the chest was the one coming out of it. And that tiny red card on the chest has always been there. First Elixir Monster The original Elixir Golem, or Elixir Monster, whichever you prefer, was a scrapped idea Supercell had in mind. But in an April Fool's joke, they included half of him in the edge of the picture as a joke. Little did we know, he would eventually be added years later. Firecracker's Eye I actually mentioned this one in my last video, but basically, if you zoom into the firecracker's eyes enough, you'll spot what looks to be a mysterious figure in the reflection. Accidental Ram Leak Before the Ram Rider was released, her name, description, and stats appeared on StatsReal.com. Now although StatsReal.com isn't affiliated with Supercell, they are a website that gets early information much like we do as content creators. But they accidentally made the information public a little too early. It was taken down quickly, but by then, many people had already screenshotted the information, and we got to see the next new card days before its official reveal. Hooded Gang So, the Hooded Gang was supposedly a leaked card that was found in the game files, and the picture someone posted online was this. Yeah. It kind of looks like a sloppy Photoshop job, not gonna lie. Well, it's unknown if this was an actual card that got scrapped or just a prank someone pulled off, much like many other leaks. Goblin Chalice, Goblin Ninja, and Elder Goblin. I've combined these three because they were pretty much leaked at the same time. Supposedly, these three new cards were set to release in March of 2017. The Goblin Chalice would have been goblins coming out of droves from a cabin. The Goblin Ninja was a stealthy card that was invisible and reappeared to attack, and the Goblin Elder was supposed to be a large goblin carrying two goblins throwing spears. If all of this sounds familiar, it's because they've all been added one way or another. The Chalice sound an awful lot like the Goblin Drill, added four years later. The Goblin Ninja sounds exactly like the Royal Ghost, and the Goblin Elder sounds a whole lot like the Goblin Giant added two years later as well. We didn't know at the time, but these leaked cards were in fact real cards. It was just too early. Kings kidnapped the troops and made them fight. This is the third and final theory in the video, and it was also in my theories video. I mean, hey, I didn't write these icebergs, like I said, so maybe people really like that theory video. I don't know. Anyways, this theory stems back to a video uploaded in July of 2017 by the Clash Royale Japanese channel. I think. The video never went live in other countries, which was weird, but in this video, the king can be seen recruiting troops from Clash of Clans to fight in the Clash Royale arena. You can even see him pulling troops up to take with him. And finally, there's another video of him training these troops in the Clash Royale arena. Now, this theory was told way better in that theory video, so if you want to get a little spooked, I recommend you go watch that video. I just wanted to go over what these entries were referring to in these icebergs. Three Bridges Challenge Supposedly, this was a new challenge Supercell was working on that had, well, three bridges. But they ultimately decided to scrap the challenge. However, a post on Reddit showed that someone was getting the challenge requested, and Supercell responded saying, FYI, we have playtested a Three Bridges game mode a little bit. Our initial impressions were that it wasn't super fun and it didn't work particularly well. So for the time being, we've put it to one side and aren't devoting any more developer time. Therefore, it won't be coming anytime soon, if ever. So the guy that got the request was simply just a bug in the game that happened to say the name of the challenge, but the challenge wasn't actually in the game. It was just a code error. Archer's hair isn't pink. 
This one I can't confirm entirely because this one is referring to an entire entry and an iceberg with no leading evidence, but it does sound like it could be true. The Clash Royale support team often answers questions like these in the most unexpected and interesting way sometimes. Basically, it explains that the archer's hair is pink because they learned to dye their hair on YouTube. It later explains that it could be white, but that's just speculation of whoever wrote this, not the support team. I believe that their hair could be the same as the villagers in Clash of Clans because to me, that would make the most sense. So guys, there you have it. That is the entire Clash Royale iceberg. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning, I've combined three icebergs that I found online, kind of just combine them into one massive list. Of course, not everything in these lists were mentioned. There were a lot of entries of just random YouTubers' names and stuff like that. I really don't know what they meant. One of them even had like five YouTuber names in one category. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace!